that it's not for me. I never said one negative thing about the vaccine or who got it. And goddamn, dude, even in the in the stand up scene, I was a far right uh, uh, QAnon, all the things. Yeah. Horse medicine guy. You know, you know, it's like. Listen, man, I got it on CNN. Yeah, I know it. Yeah. I know it more than anybody knows it. Yeah, I know, I know I love her Chris, as well. Chris Cuomo would not. Uh, did you see the yeah. Dave Smith? Dude, Dave Smith. He fucked lit him on fire god he lit him on fire on his corpse that piece of sh- that that clip actually i made i did an impression of you doing an impression of don lemon <laughs> dude wait you mean don't get the vaccine can't go to work yeah don't get the vaccine you, you can't take a poop don't yeah. get the vaccine unbelievable that that is on national television and that clip lives on and they get to just get away with well that. not only that him and chris cromo when he's talking about people injecting veterinary medicine and then Chris Cuomo saying, ivermectin, a dewormer? Like, the the stupidity in which they were describing on cable television. Like, first of all, you're not injecting anything, you idiot. You're taking a small pill that's one of the safest drug profiles of any drug in recorded history that's been prescribed sure. to human beings billions of times. And the fact that they had the balls to go on TV and frame it that way. And then Chris Cuomo with, with Dave Smith saying, like, this is what we were being told, that they were taking... Like, you don't have Google. Like, you just go out on CNN and you spit out what they're telling you. Even like, you at, didn't look at it at all. Even at the same token, even if you wanted to go experiment with an actual... Why don't you get to do that? So you, everybody has to take this experimental rushed vaccine that Trump pushed the regulations... Yeah, but you're missing well, the point. The point is I was already better. That's the dumbest part about sure, this. Sure. The dumbest part about the, the let him experiment, let him not experiment. That's not the point. The, the, the point was I got better really quick. Which is hooray. Yeah, yeah but they didn't want that. So no. that's when the machine moved and you know they went with this horse dewormer narrative because they were worried that other people were going to start taking ivermectin. I took a bunch of things and I talked about all – I didn't say ivermectin by itself. I said – IV vitamins, yep. monoclonal ad- antibodies, Z packs. I, t- I said, I literally gave the list of different things. There was um, some corticosteroid. What is that stuff called? There was some sort of a steroid that I took too. What was it you called? were better like in two Three. days or something, yeah. right? Quick. Holy. Like quick. Like How it old was are you? gone. 56. God damn. I was, I was working. I did 10 rounds on the bag six days later. I was like, let's see what's going on. Because the only way to really see what's going on is see if I have endurance. Yeah. I did 10 rounds on the back. I was nothing. At five days in, I did a workout and I, was, I tried it. And I was like, I feel pretty good. I'm, I don't want to like relapse because I kept hearing that people would work out too quick and they'd relapse. So I said, let me just go through a, like a decent workout and see how I feel. If I feel at all drained or tired, I'm pretty in tune, which is, you know, how I knew something was wrong in the first place. I'm pretty tuned in to my body. And then the next day I said, all right, let's fucking push it. Let's see what's up. And I, I pushed it. And I felt 100%. I was 100% six days later. And I think I was on 100% five days later. I just didn't try. So that was bad for the narrative because the narrative was this thing was super dangerous. You know, you, you need to take a vaccine. This is the only way through it. And my doctor was saying, no, no, it's not as dangerous as they're saying, especially someone like you who works out every day and takes vitamins every day and always eats healthy. This is not the thing that's going to get you. He's like, with the people that are dying, what I'm seeing is people with comorbidities. He was explaining everything to me. And he recommended a, a series of nutrients to take to prepare yourself to like to pump up your immune system. And he's like, but there's a bunch of things that you can take if you do get infected that will help you recover. And that's what I took. And it worked. Yeah, think how many people could have perhaps yeah. replicated that. They didn't want not, that. Yeah. In order to have the emergency use authorization so that they could pr- make sure that everybody gets vaccinated, they had to have no other treatments. That's why they demonized ivermectin. That's why they demonized hydroxychloroquine. That's why they, they kept a lot of people from getting monoclonal antibodies. They didn't want any solution other than the one that was going to make them insane amounts of money. And that's what they pushed for. And we went through that. Yeah. And the thing is, like, our, did we learn? That's the question. Did we learn? I don't think so. I don't know. I don't know. I think a lot of people learned. A lot of people learned. I think, and I think that a lot you of people- You learned. I learned, but I almost didn't survive it. it to, to go through that, and I had, no, I had no bank account. I had no money. The, the money I was getting was from Comedy Club Cash. And I had just gotten to the clubs in New York City. And I decided I'm not, 
I'm not going, here's my papers to get in. Right. I'm not doing it. Right. Not doing it. I've been performed outside during those shows. I was performing for free outside, outside of comedy clubs. And then once the vaccine, I said, we need your papers. And I just said, I can't do it. I said, okay, take care. Wow. And, and to so do- how long did you go from that to not doing stand-up? How many, how many months did you not do stand-up? Well, I started just doing videos in my living room. I lost my mind. <laughs> That's the thing is, I, I and, and when I tour, a lot of my fans, you know, um, went through a similar thing. And so when I meet them after, it's it's um, it's it's painful because everybody tells me the story. I'm a firefighter. I lost my job. I'm a nurse. I lost my job. Yeah. I lost my family. I was isolated. My my just met a guy his daughter killed herself because she couldn't um practice her sports she was locked in her bedroom mm. it's like the damage that was done yeah. and to be able to stay steady during that and go all right i'm gonna go through this now without any friends and being labeled this far-right crazy person for just saying no thanks to the shot yeah it, it you can't believe you know what that does to you and so I just feel, I feel so, I feel so much for these people that did it and who's, who stuck up to it. Yeah, I do too. And I also feel for the people that got suckered into taking it and now they have like serious consequences. Sure. Serious health problems. Ooh. 